Pretty piece by piece, crews are taking down an historic smokestack in Haverhill after it was struck by lightning. That lightning created a split down the brick smokestack. More than 120 people had to evacuate their homes and now have to wait for that smokestack to come down. WVZ's Jim Smith is live with the story in Haverhill. Jim? Liam and Paula, not too long ago, we got an update from the fire chief, and he says as many as 100 people remain out of their homes and will remain homeless, if you will, temporarily, at least until this chimney is lowered to a safe height. And by the looks of things, that could take a while. All it takes is a couple of seconds at the wrong time. The old smokestack has stood for decades, but now it must come down. No two ways about it. Engineers in a bucket take a trip to the top for a most delicate operation, dismantling an industrial landmark. Sunday's lightning bolt blasted bricks everywhere, sending them to the ground, weakening the smokestack, creating potential danger. The concern is if it was to collapse and if it was to fall a certain way altogether, we have the height of the chimney could be the collapse zone. This was the scene as that huge storm swept through Haverhill on Sunday. There was nowhere to hide from the lightning and it did damage. More than 100 people living in an adjacent apartment complex were evacuated as a precaution. Even those who weren't forced out are a bit uneasy. Are you worried about those bricks possibly? Uh... Yes, my, my windows are very close. Um, I know they have the radius down and stuff like that, but I'm one apartment away. A little nerve-wracking? Very nerve-wracking. The Hamel Leather Complex is a piece of the city's manufacturing history. At one time, the company was one of Haverhill's largest employers, but now a piece of that past will soon be just a memory. This was at one time one of the largest shoe factories in the whole world, Hamel Leather Company. And, uh, this was a symbol, so we're very sorry to see it go, but safety has to come first. And here's one more look live at that damaged smokestack. It really is brick by brick. Doing this safely, of course, means really taking your time, and it's hard to say exactly how long this will all take, but let's all remember, nobody was hurt. That's the great news. Live here in Haverhill, Jim Smith, WBC News. You're right about